Hi, you're watching Professor Plays, and this is my Death World Season 3. I put an artillery down here in the corner of the base, uh, down here. And it's been shelling, and I've been watching the counterattacks. You can see there's quite a few bug bodies there. Uh, now there is a cliff here that's probably not completely fair in terms of how good the defenses are, but these walls are not taking much in the way of damage. There's no behemoth fighters yet, uh, so I'm pretty secure, I'm pretty confident that uh, it's safe. And what happens, as you saw there, once the flame is on the ground, of course, Chris is a bad example, maybe with the cliffs, but I was watching earlier, and uh, once the flame is on the ground, the, the biters that are, or the bugs that are coming through the flames, they don't they don't even get close to the wall. So I'm, I'm pretty confident in this one row of laser turrets. Now, I don't know why they're not getting repaired. Uh, the bots are probably, yeah, there they are. Coming from a long distance to do the repair, but it's fine. Oh, are you finished shelling? Or you ran out of ammo? No, you finished shelling. So that's the range. You can see that arc there. That's the default range that it'll, that it'll fire automatically. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a blueprint of that uh, that artillery gun and chest and put that in spots along the wall so that these uh, firing ranges overlap to keep the bugs away from the wall. So let me just make a blueprint. Oh, I did make a blueprint of this. Okay. So I just did a control C and then uh, made a blueprint of that and put that blueprint here on my toolbar. So now I want to put that, I think, over in this corner. Um, actually, I don't need to be all the way in the corner because I don't need to cover the water necessarily. So right in here, maybe. Right in there. Oh, I've got to be in the logistic area of the RoboPort. Uh, so right up here. That's the logistic spot of the RoboPort there. And then some power. Like that. So that will cover that wall. This wall is covered. And then over here, uh, if I put one in the corner, oh yeah, put one in this corner, that will work. So one in this corner. Let's see, are you in the logistic area again of the robo port? It's hard to see sometimes, but this is the, this boundary here is the, the logistic spot, logistic coverage. So put you there. So that will cover, how big is that circle? About, about that big. That will cover about that big. And then maybe one in the middle and one on the end. Something like that. So let's try, uh, let's try one in here. And then one, actually this end, well, yeah, put one down here, I guess. Don't really need it. Um, there's no there's no bugs along that wall there, but I'll put one here. I actually need one over there, don't I? Ooh, that's gonna be big counterattacks over there. Um, how big is that circle? It's about that big. So if I put one gun right there, I think that will keep the entire area covered. So let's try that. Are you connecting to power? Yes. Let's try putting one here. And that should take out all the bugs that are close to the walls. Yeah, there's a tiny spot up here that's not not covered by turrets or by the artillery turret. But uh, I think that's fine. And uh, uh, range increases is uh, one of the upgrade, one of the uh, researches you can do. So, uh, range increases also will will make that cover that whole thing. I probably could have made that a little bit higher. Where'd you go? You probably could have been a little bit higher. Well, I'll do that later. I'll move it later. Oh, uh, I want to. I wanted to check. Oh, wait, I don't have any power. Oh. Huh. Hmm. 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 No building's gonna happen without power here. Where was that at? Up here. 
I was trying to give the bots places to recharge as they were delivering artillery shells, and I put a blueprint down here uh, to put robo ports. And you don't. Well, I don't need power over there. And I guess I never connected it to power. I don't have any power poles. Okay, that's not going to work. Oh, I have medium ones. Any power will do. Now you have power. Let me get some uh, more large electric poles. That's what I wanted was was the a place for the bots to recharge as they delivered artillery shells. I probably could extend this and do the same thing here. Yeah. Oh, it is already there. Okay, maybe they'll build those now. Yeah, it helps when you have power, doesn't it? <laughs> so, uh, where's my blueprint for that column? Let's keep extending this column down like this. Like that. There we go. And that will give all the. That'll be all filled in with, with uh, robo ports so bots can recharge. Okay, I do want to go over here. I think I want to move this artillery gun. Make it a little bit higher to give that wall complete coverage with that. So I don't need to add an additional artillery. Where was that? Right here. So let's go up here. Uh, maybe right in here. What's that look like? That has overlapping coverage to keep things away from the wall. Okay, that's good. Did I pick up any artillery shells? No, I did not. But are you going to deliver them? Yes. The chest is in the logistic zone. Okay, that's good. Iron ore is okay. Uh, it looks like it's pausing here. It doesn't like my balancer, I think. Actually, it's pausing there and it's pausing there as well. Oh, it's okay. So it is pausing there. I didn't notice it. The, uh, the output belts there are pausing, so the input belts are going to pause as well. That's fine. Let me check on science. Science is weak. It is purple or production science, and that normally is because of steel. And steel has been weak. So is that why you are weak? You are, yeah, you're waiting on rail, and rail is probably waiting for steel. Uh, yep. Well, I don't know if I can boost steel because I don't have any more iron ore. I'm using all the iron ore that I've got. And I already looked for iron ore to outpost, didn't I? Yeah, there's one there. I mean, the simple turn the turret coverage off here. Is there iron? No, that's copper there. Copper there. Uh, there's no iron in here that I'm missing. No. no I, I could put speed modules in the drills, the miners. And that would boost the output. Uh, let me try that. Let me try that. See. Maybe I could get an extra red belt. Um, of course, that's going, it's making it all the way down to the end. I need to put another steel smelter, or I probably need to put modules in the furnaces. Let me see if I can do something like that. I like the simple approach. I don't want to rebuild everything if I don't. Speed module ones might help. 
let's see if it does. Power should still be good. Yep. Let's see what you call modules are here. That one's actually backed up already. Um, hmm. So that one's already backed those are that one's backed up there too so is that one let me run an extra line where should I put the extra line on the top of this mess or the bottom of this mess probably on the bottom of this mess Yeah. This has got red ammo on it. Probably fill up my inventory here. Oh, didn't. Oops, I didn't mean to get rid of the radar. Come on. Hello. There we go. So this can go here. You can be upgraded to Red Belt. You can be Red Belt. speed modules.
One speed module one makes you 20% faster. You will hold, how many you will hold? Two modules. Okay, let me, where'd you go modules? Uh, let me grab some more speed modules. <clears throat> if I put two module, two speed module one, ones in each one, I should be able to supply enough iron ore. Let's find out. speed modules. I don't have any more. Is that one side? Is that top equipped with two speed modules? Yes. That'll be a good experiment. I can see if it's going to be able to support those modules. Yeah, oh, it looks like there's no problem. Looks like the iron ore is easily able to keep up. That makes the furnace 40% uh, faster, 40% more steel once I get the other modules in. I'm sorry, I keep running away from you. There you go. And I got a bunch of copper ore I picked up. In my journeys, let's see, copper ore, go in there, iron ore, oops, iron ore, go in there, speed modules, go in here, Well, there are more of them running now. You're probably still waiting on rail. Yep, and that's because of steel. And it looks a little better. There's a few more modules. You have to, you do not. Did that gun get placed over there? Yes, okay, that one that I put up there. So now you can see those arcs are overlapping. That's what I want. So that wall's all covered. This wall is all covered. 
And you are all covered. And are you have any ammo? No, you're waiting on ammo. But you will get ammo because that's in the logistic part of the robo network. And there is some ammo, speaking of which. Okay, this is probably going to get the most intense counterattacks because it's just surrounded by so many bugs. But uh, I don't. I don't see any issues right now. No damage on the wall. Look at those piles of bodies. I don't see any damage that hasn't been repaired. So that's just, that's encouraging. Probably should pay a little more attention, but eh, it'll get rebuilt. Right? It'll get rebuilt. Rocket silo research is progressing. I have other stuff queued up. Where am I going to build the rocket silo? Hmm. That's a good question. Where am I going to build the rocket silo? This is more compact, or is, these are the same? Okay. So where can I build this? Um, I can use bots to deliver the material, so anywhere that's in a logistic area will work. So down here would work. In fact, I can put... I, of course, I can put more rubble ports. It's designed for belt feed. So let's see. This... Um, steel, plastic, tons of copper... Red and green circuits. Well, actually, red, green, and blue circuits. Uh, more steel, copper, iron plate, and batteries, and green circuits there. So, copper's the single biggest input, and then and then there's two steel places. Okay. So, copper. goes down to there so I just need access to that copper copper goes down through there I'd like to feed the copper in by belt. I don't want I don't want bots to deliver high volume items. Uh, how do I get copper? There's the copper on the bus. How do I get copper to this without making without putting this in the way of everything? Um, what's this? That's a stone belt. And that's the iron belt. I could move the stone belt this would fit down here. So that's a possibility. If I did that. That's actually not too bad. Down there. Just move that one stone belt. Um, no, that's going to be in the way of the nuclear power plant. I think this down here is okay. Let me go down here where I can move the belt myself. Oh, the lasers must be firing. I saw the lights flickering. <laughs> We're using too much power. Speaking of which, look at that power consumption. <laughs> um... How's my nuclear fuel holding out? Let's see, nuclear fuel.
Okay, there's there's sufficient fuel. We still have a good flow of uranium. Give me my give me my next uh, power upgrade. Four reactor thin. So there's a there's a medium electric pole in the way. So this electric pole here is in the way, and this one's in the way. Okay, how is that powered in that blueprint? For reactor thin. How are you powered? Oh, the, they're just in a different place. Okay, that's that's why I put them in the wrong place when I put them up there originally. Okay. Transport belt is in the way. see a belt in the way. Isn't that what it said? Transport belt is in the way. Okay, I'll just hold down. I'll hold down shift and do it. This is going to cause a brownout, I think. Eh, maybe not. We'll see. We're plopping those reactors down there like that. Drains a lot of heat out of the system. But uh, they do heat up quickly. Did you get... No? It's... Okay, it's fine. So this heat pipe did not drop below 500. You can see it dropped. It's coming back up now. But uh, it, it's fine. Now I need water for you. And you are connected. I always have to check to see if pipes got placed. Or something got placed where it cut an existing connection, and uh, I don't—I don't think it did. I think everything's okay up there. And what happened down here? You need water, and water's over there somewhere. Say that was down here. Yeah, down here. Wait, 
right, you didn't get connected. Well, that's unfortunate. There we go. Now you have water. There we go. That's a little better. Make sure these are all working. Looks like it's all working. You have water, you have water, yes. And you have water, and you have water. There, yes. Okay, and power did look like it had doubled. Yes. All right, good. My little exoskeletons with the battery power last quite a long time. See the battery meter over here in the lower left corner is 84%. Well, that's still weak, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I, I put red belts in there, so it helped a little, but... Still not... Still not full. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um doesn't matter I guess I don't really need it if I'm gonna keep playing I would need it but I like I like I like playing death worlds I like the start that's the challenging part for me I like launching a rocket to just to prove that I've defeated the the bugs but then I like going and starting another one so I think this will be sufficient for uh, for uh, launching a rocket we shall see say was a good spot in here in here if I move one belt this belt yeah so I can move the stone belt and this can fit in here okay so let's do that some more cliff explosives I don't remember if I'm making those or not was I handcrafting was I making those or was I handcrafting them I don't remember give me more steel needs to go above iron ore. Yeah, just above iron ore. Okay, so the next adjacent to iron ore for stone is probably better for the piping too, isn't it? Yep. And I can 
just go down to here. Like this. And you are going to go like this. This this goes away. This goes away. Yes. Okay. Thank you, bots. Mm -hmm. Okay. This goes away. These trees go away. Cliffs can go away. Okay. And where's that print again? That's going to fit in there, but the lubricant pipe is in the way. So let's move that. Give me that print again. Space science, it fits in there. Like that. And then the lubricant pipe needs to go up here somewhere, so this can go over here. Like this. This doesn't need to actually have undergrounds anyway. And you can be red. And you can be red. And you can be red. Okay, and you need power. You're not connected to anything. Now you are. Okay. These are all machine threes. Did I get? Did I research machine threes? I don't remember. I did not research machine threes. They are in the research queue. I should have put those first. Uh, let's do that. And. What else did I just take out of there? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Let's do those first, and then let's do that. Like that. Machine threes are faster. That's why they're... This, these are late-stage blueprints, obviously, with, with the space science, so that's why those are all machine threes. So I'll just... That, that won't take long to complete that, that research for machine threes. Uh, in fact... Hmm. I'll do a little... Uh, do a little editing here. I will, uh, I'll let that research complete and then, uh, construct some machine threes and fill those in with the machine threes. And then we'll be right back. Research has completed for assembly machine threes and this store, hardware store builds those. So there's assembly machine threes being built and are already going over to build the blueprint that I put down. So there's the blueprint that I put down for the uh, rocket silo space science. I did, I manually crafted a rocket silo. 
so it is in place and the bots will place the machines. I will not have productivity module threes, but that's fine. It will still work. In fact, I could do is I could speed up. Um, there, take the speed module ones out of the chest, put them on the belt, and let them go into making machines, and give me the faster machine, and you can be a faster machine. So now we're making now we're making faster machines faster. All right, that's good. In fact, um, how many are in here? Not many. I've got one. Here, let me speed up the module production as well. There, now the modules are faster. There we go, give you some speed, or some machine twos. Now I can make machines threes faster. Steel looks okay. Science, these are all running, yes. Okay, and you are waiting on machines still, so you probably aren't doing anything. No, not yet. It'll take a while for those. Oh, I guess there's a few things running, so it'll take a while for all those machines to get placed, but um, what was it waiting on? Oh, it actually had threes. Rocket control unit. Somebody's running. Yeah, oh, no, not there. Here. So there are some machines making those. So it will, build, it will build a rocket, and as it puts more machines, it'll get faster and faster. I don't know if I'm going to be able to supply enough copper plate or not. It looks like it might be able to. We shall see. Lots of steel backed up. So that's what normally the... On production science, a purple one, normally it's steel that slows things down, so steel conveyors backed up. So that should run. And that's the last research I'm doing, which is the space science. Well, I can do more research, but, but that's the last one I need to launch a rocket. If I want space science. Actually, I could launch the rocket now. I don't need space science to launch the rocket, but... But normally, if you're playing, you want to keep playing, you want to research space science, then you build a satellite, put the satellite in the rocket silo, or in the rocket, rather, and then launch the satellite, and then when you do that, you get a thousand space science uh, after the rocket launch. But you don't you don't need this satellite, satellite if you just want to win the game. You can, you can launch the rocket, put a fish in the rocket, and launch the rocket, get a little message, a special message. satellite. Okay.
thought I had another one of those. Hey, five percent or six percent rather, seven percent, making real progress. Uh, how many of you are still missing here? You are missing. You are missing. Yeah, they're mostly in there. A couple down there. So raw material, copper. Yeah, I knew that was weak. Uh, let's see. Can I do anything to get more copper? We don't need it going up there. I'll put priority right. All the copper goes that way. Uh, I'll put priority right. All the copper goes that way. Um, you're not going anywhere. Okay, it's all going, I think all the coppers, no, nope, it's not all going there, so I'll put priority right, and I'll put priority right over here, so I'll go there, go there, go there, go there, and go there, so now I think it's all directed down here. RCUs or rocket control units. And you are waiting on nothing. You're just you're just running. And you're waiting on speed module ones. And you probably want productivity modules. No, you want speed modules. I don't have any speed module threes. Copper's still weak. Yeah, it's almost a full belt. Well, let's see what I can do here. No, it's a full belt there. You want productivity modules. You don't have any in the chest. Who is taking my productivity modules and where are you taking them? see. I have some productivity module ones in there, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I can afford. Productivity ones. I should have had productivity modules in the labs for a very long time, and I don't have any in there, so, oh well, there, labs have productivity modules in them, that's one of the best things you can do in your base, 
put productivity modules in the labs. It, uh, in essence, it makes the entire base faster. It generates science packs for free. So that speeds up your science production. It doesn't cost you anything other than the cost of the initial module production and a little bit more power use, but that's normally not a, normally not a problem. Okay, so all the copper is going down here. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, except that's going to cut off green circuit production now, isn't it? Eh, it's okay. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. I'll just keep an eye on things, make sure it didn't shut something off by diverting stuff down here. Oh yeah, 18%. Uh, what else can I speed up? Now, did I shut off? Did I shut off research by diverting stuff? Uh, let me check science packs. Well, I'm still getting something down there. Purple's the weak one, which is normally steel. If that's weak, let's see. I put purple down here somewhere. Didn't I? Oh, it's over here. Over here. No, oh, steel is there. Steel is not. It's just slow. Yeah, it's just slow. I can make those machine threes, but don't know that I can supply enough material anyway, and it is all running right now. That's just to research the space science pack. Yep. Which, again, you don't need just to win the game. So if I just want to launch a rocket, um, I need more. Actually, what are you waiting on? You're waiting on productivity modules, or I mean uh, speed modules. And where do those come from? Speed modules. Right here, and you're waiting on circuits. There's all kinds of circuits in there. Um, let's see. You help a priority left. Go to make rockets, please. And help a priority left. Go to make a rocket. And same with you. Go to the rocket. And you want to go to the right. Make a rocket, and you want to go to the right to make a rocket. And which one of these do I want to go? Probably both of them. I need both of those, don't I? Yep. I need both of you, but I do need you to go to the right. I'll put it right now. You, like that. Now I think all the green circuits are diverted to make a rocket. It's only half of. Half a green circuit build, but that's that's okay. What do you have? You have a bunch of green circuits in you. Um, like that. Let's put green circuits on both sides of the belt. circuits on both sides of the belt. Thirty 
two percent. I'm just trying to just trying to feed stuff down here faster. Let's see, that's what is the slow down? Still rocket control units. Uh, you are not running. You are missing speed module ones. You're all running. And you're waiting on you're waiting on speed module ones. Speed module ones up here in my store. No. Speed up the speed module production. Okay, that's modules and all the speed module build. down there anyway. But these are all running faster now. So that will speed things up a little. 39%. All the biters have been cleared out away from the wall. I don't see the artillery. Oh, there's a firing. Yeah. That must have been something new that cropped up. So it keeps everything away from the wall. That's that's good. That's what I want. These are not really there. That's an, that's an, an old scan, radar scan or something. They're probably not there anymore. And the same thing there, though. They're not really there. That's an old uh, radar scan. Okay, very secure. We're very secure in our in our little fort. Now there's an artillery firing. So as soon as anything gets built, or as soon as a worm appears that's in the artillery range, it gets eliminated quickly. So that keeps things away from the wall. Um, so now you're not going to get any very little wall damage. So even more secure than we were before. So I'll just sit back and wait for the rocket to complete. 42%, 43%. See what else can I do to speed it up a little? It's waiting on rocket control units. And you are all running. Oops, I dropped a dropped a speed module. can't speed I mean I I could put speed speed modules in those but I don't think I can supply enough parts down there are you you're not even running you are waiting on advanced circuits yeah see it's, it doesn't do any good to put speed modules in stuff that's waiting for for input items
let's see, you can go... You can go up a priority left. We don't need any more down here. There they are, they're all going that way, that's better. You're putting them onto the... Oh, you're not even running. Why are you not running? Uh, oh, I put all the copper... I put all the copper down this way, didn't I? Well, that might have been a mistake. Yeah, I need uh, I need advanced circuits down there. So now we're not making any... Well, we're not making any advanced circuits, but I had a bunch of that uh, in this box up here. How many are still in there? Yeah, there's still a bunch in there. So I think that's fine. I think we're fine. Let's just make sure they're all going to the right place. You need to go up a priority left. You need to go up a priority right. Oh, wait, we're doing... Uh, well, okay, I don't, I don't need space science research. I just want to launch the rocket. Um, you are going up a priority left. You are left. And that will go down there, and that's what I want. So let's launch a fish. We can launch a fish in, in, on the rocket. Give me a fish. Oh, here we go, fish. Okay, that's a pretty good stream of red circuits. Four percent still waiting on rocket control units, and they are waiting on red circuits. Okay. Now we got a pretty good stream of red circuits coming down through there. Now that'll give them a little boost. Now Red Circus will back up. Fifty-seven percent. Still waiting on rocket control units. You are all running now. Who's requesting these now? Oh, in the build. Okay, it's in the build itself. That's fine.
I let it run and do the. I let it run and finish the research for uh, for Machine Three, and it's been a day or two for me um, since I recorded the last episode. I didn't go back and rewatch it before I started this session. I don't remember if I showed this or not. I put the, I expanded the nuclear power. I don't know what's going on here though. Um, I guess it needs to be there. I put the four reactor blueprint down. I think I showed you that, didn't I? I remember. Anyway, we have ample power now. It was getting marginal with just two reactors. I'm pretty sure I showed that. Anyway, like I say, it's been another day for me. Okay, still waiting on rocket control units, but they are all running. Yeah, maybe I could give it some more speed modules. Let's see if I can. If it doesn't have enough material, it doesn't have enough material. see what it does. Let's find out if it can supply those. It wants processing units. Yeah, speed module ones. I think processing units are going to... Well, processing units are backed up. But uh, they're not coming in at a very good clip. That'll be fine. We're at seventy-six percent. So a little base tour. Ooh, what's happening here? Little, uh, little, little complaints going on. Complaint department. Uh, this artillery that I put over here, just keeping everything away. You can see the circle there. Everything's cleared away now from the wall. We still have enough uranium. Oh yeah, 1.8 million. No problem. Yeah, this is a fun little map. I like this one. It was a little bit of a challenge at the beginning there. I did I I did not want to make it quite so difficult with a base uh, so close to the start. I tried I did want to try to find something that everybody would have a chance of winning. If this is your first attempt at a death world, uh, so hopefully you took your time and and were able to get rid of that uh, fighter base that was close by. I. I'm toying around with the idea of uh, actually playing the uh, map that uh, Nephrim's uh, selected on his speedrun, where he did a Death World speedrun. I think that will be a very nice map if you've never uh, played or if you've never beaten a Death World. I think that one, <laughs> that one he really lucked out on. So I might do that. I might try to generate some more random ones. Uh, see if I can come up with something else. I do like the Death World. For me personally, I like playing them. I like the challenge of the start. It's a little bit, little bit more fun. I do want to make it. <laughs> I, I'm not very happy with this ugly bus. Um, I'm going to put my blueprint down earlier next time for my bus layout and just build around it. Which is what I normally do, and for some reason I didn't on this playthrough. I don't know why. 
but you know it's okay it was kind of fun I guess in that regard uh, just it, it just proves you don't need a specially nice bus to win you just need to be patient and once you get the walls and the flamethrowers and the lasers you can take your time as long as you don't run out of resources right that'd be the problem if you didn't have enough resources inside the wall uh, you know you might be a, might be a problem enough to go out and and put an outpost out there and grab more resources. Well, I guess this was an outpost, wasn't it? I mean, that was an outpost uh, to get the uranium. So you just build a wall around it and put your flamethrowers and lasers around it and get the material back somehow. Uh, let's see. Let's antagonize a few biters while we're waiting. Give them some gifts. I don't like the looks of those bases. took off. <laughs> How did they know? How did they know to take off like that? Oh, we'll watch the counterattack. There's the counterattack. See, it doesn't, doesn't stand a chance now. La those lasers with the laser upgrades and the flamethrowers, they don't stand a chance. Not without the bigger biters and massive waves of them. We're, we're, we're good. We don't need to worry about that. There's the rocket. Perfect timing. So, that'll wrap up this series. I'll start another Death World next time. Yeah. So, oh wow, killed a lot of big spitters. And medium spitters, too. Holy smoke. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please click on that thumbs up button. I would appreciate it very much. Take care, have fun playing, and we'll see you in the next Death World. Bye-bye.